you will be able to edit this fast. Mining away. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, yes, sir. All you have to do is just change a super simple setting. Fortnite, do you like Fortnite? <laughs> And if you guys are watching this, there's a pretty good chance you guys aren't subscribed. So make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, use code Fluxy, hashtag ad. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now in creative and we have the keyboard cam set up. So for the first secret setting that I'm going to show you guys, it is going to be done on keyboard and mouse. And then right after that, we'll do them on all other things such as controller, Nintendo Switch and more. So as you guys can see, here is my keyboard. And this is just a regular keyboard that I built myself. It is custom built. All you guys could do is get any keyboard that you want and it will work. It's that easy to do. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys what my builds are like without the secret setting. And then after that, I will show you guys what it is like with the setting. It's actually crazy how good this setting is. All right, so let's just start building. So let's... Look, as you guys can see, my edit and building are actually pretty decent right now because I do play keyboard and mouse. But you guys will be able to see with the secret setting that my edits are 10 times faster. And this is actually the best setting ever in chapter three. Okay, so without the secret setting, I'm gonna go ahead and try and make this floor go completely invisible because with the secret setting, you can make anything go invisible. It's not over part. Okay, right, let's keep editing. Okay, we're keeping it at one HP, so we might be able to. We'll just try this for a decent amount of time and see if we can do it. Okay, we're actually going pretty fast. I think we can do it. Okay, let's go for a few more seconds. And... Okay, nope. It's literally just too hard to be invisible. I have to do it for so long. But you will see with the setting, I can do it so easily. So with my regular edits, I am unable to make myself float. I might be able to do it a few times. All right, so let's give this a try. So let's go ahead and do it in three, two, one. And, oh, yep, I got it once there, but then I just fell straight through. All right, well, now I'm going to go ahead and turn on these secret settings to make my edits a lot faster. All right, we just turned on the secret setting, and now we are able to go ahead and make anything go completely invisible. You guys will be amazed by the speed of this. It's crazy. So, yep, as you guys can see already, my edits are so much faster, and we are editing this super fast. This is so overpowered, and we are going to make this floor go invisible any second now. Two, one, and boom. As you guys can see, we literally just made this floor go invisible and we're walking on it this setting is so good and we can make anything like this floor go invisible it's crazy this is such a cool trick to show your friends as they will go crazy if they see you making your edits like this fast you guys have to try this setting with this setting i can also make myself float like this so yep, as you guys can see, I am floating myself so easily. All right, we are inside of this broken edit course right now. And usually if you were to edit through this with your normal settings, it would take you a very long time. But with this secret setting, we can run through this super fast. Let's do it. So yep, as you can see, we're literally just running through here, editing all these floors so fast. And we're going to be at the top any moment. Like this is so fast. It's so overpowered. And we should be at the top any second now. And boom, already at the top. And as you can see, we went through that many floors floors. Make sure you guys show this setting off to your friends. They will freak out. Even with editing down, we can basically just fall the whole way down and not even touch the floor like this. So yep, as you guys can see, we're going down this so fast, just barely touching the floor and we're editing through this so fast and we should be at the bottom any moment now. And yep, already at the bottom. You guys are also able to make walls go invisible like this one right here. There's literally a wall being built and it's invisible. You guys can also make cones go invisible just like this one right here. As you can see, we just made a cone and go invisible. This is so good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get onto the keyboard settings. So for the first setting, all you guys want to do is head your way into the cogwheel right here. So for the first setting, you guys want to make sure disable pre-edit option is on. This means that you won't be able to pre-edit your builds, which will help out a lot. And the next setting is also confirm edit on release. Make sure that is on. So edit on release basically just edits it whenever you let go of the button. So it's a lot faster. So we're going to edit it. We click it and then let go. And that's it edited. So fast. And then pre-edit option is basically whenever we try to build, we can't edit this wall while it's already done. The wall has to be placed, so then we can edit it. This just makes everything so much easier. The next setting is then over in your keybinds. So now it's time to change your keybinds. So just scroll your way down to building right here. And as you can see, we have building edit and select building edit. So all you guys want to do is have your regular building edit as the button that you usually have it as. Whereas mine is F. And then as you can see, select building edit, we guys can have two building edits. So that means you can basically have the secret setting on at all times as well as having your original binds fully set up. 
So as you can see, my regular building edit is F. That is the one I press. And then right beside it, I have G, as it isn't binded to anything else. So that just makes it easier so that I can press F and G right at the same time as they're right beside each other. But obviously, you guys can just put them to whatever you guys want. It could be anything on your keyboard. If you guys want, it could be X and C. It could be F and B. Literally anything you guys find comfortable. I just have F and G because I find them comfortable. But to really take advantage of the secret setting on keyboards, I recommend having two binds right beside each other. It just makes it a lot easier as you don't really want to be stretching across your keyboard. So yeah, that's literally just the full setting on keyboard on Mars. It's so easy to do. So now all you guys really have to do is just practice pressing them buttons at the same time. You guys will be able to use two hands like this and kind of alternate it. Whereas I prefer to use my single hand. I can use either hand to do it. And yeah, I really prefer to. And yeah, you guys just have to get all the practice in. And soon enough, you guys will be able to edit super, super fast. And yeah, I really recommend you guys try it this setting. Now, obviously, this is going to be quite hard to use in actual games, but that is why you guys can change it to your preference to see if you guys will be able to get it in your actual in-game edits. I just prefer to have these two, though, because they're a lot fun to do. But yeah, that is the secret setting on keyboard and mouse. You guys will be able to do this on an Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, or even Nintendo Switch. Okay, so as you can see, we've got my controller right here, and this is just a regular Xbox controller. Nothing special with it. But here we have my regular edits. So as you guys can see, my edits on controller are actually pretty fast for the start of it. But with this secret setting, we are able to edit as fast as a keyboard player. It's absolutely crazy. So as you can see, I am literally incapable of making this go completely invisible on controller. Maybe if I stay at it for absolutely ages, I might be able to. But yeah, it's just way too hard and I'm so slow at it. So we're editing through this and as you guys can see, I am messing up and it is actually super slow. But yeah, with this setting, we're gonna fly through this like it was nothing. Now let's go ahead and switch on the secret setting for controller. Okay, we went ahead and turned on the secret setting for the controller. Now it is time to show you guys how fast my edits are. And yep, as you guys can see already, we are gonna be able to make this Kongo completely invisible. We are literally able to make this Kongo completely invisible while we're on controller. Let's do it in three. And as you can see, we literally just made this Kongo completely invisible while using the secret setting on controller. It's so overpowered. So now I've shown you guys what the secret setting is like on controller let's go ahead and show you the settings so all you guys want to do is make your way into the settings go to the cogwheel and scroll your way down to building and as you can see we have building right here so all you want to do is make sure disable pre-edit option is on and also make sure confirm edit on release is turned on it just makes the editing so much easier then you guys want to make your way over here to the controller keybind settings and for this all you need to do is just change a few binds so as you can see i'm on generic controller right now and for the first setting all you want to do is change your air button to edit. This is if you're on Xbox. It's the same with PlayStation 4. If you're on PlayStation 4, make sure you put your X to edit. On Nintendo Switch, just make sure this button is your edit bind. Then all you want to do is make your way over to the edit controls and make your way down to this area right here. All you want to do is make sure your A is set to confirm and your B is select to select. If you're on PlayStation, you guys want to make your X confirm and your circle as select. And just follow that if you're on Nintendo Switch. If you guys don't find them buttons comfortable, you guys can choose any of them on your controller. You guys can make sure it's X and Y. You can do X or B, X or A. Obviously, you guys change your jump bind, so you're going to have to find a different place for that. Or if you guys want to, you just change a different place for these edits. But I just use A and B just because I do it in creative. But yeah, now with this secret setting, you guys will be able to play just like this and edit super fast. You'll be able to make anything go invisible. You'll be able to float your friends and even float yourself. Make sure all of you guys show all of your friends this secret setting. Everybody has to know about this to edit this fast. It's unreal. If this this video helped you guys edit faster make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it and let me know down in the comments down below if you guys were able to edit super fast